Thank you very much, Covidians, for your uh, views on my last post about um, end times. Somehow the last post being the thing they play before uh, close down at night in the army seems quite appropriate, doesn't it, talking about the end times? Or if they will play the last post, well, I gather there'll be some trumpets. I'm going to follow on a similar vein. And this one is going to be for those of us who believe, who have faith, and are working towards that, what uh, this passage calls the Great Reversal. Now, if you do want to watch this and you want to look the passage up in other translations of the uh, Christian Bible, I'll give you the passage it's based on. This is from the Message Translation, and it's Luke chapter 13, 28 to 30. And this is Friday the 11th of February in the afternoon. I've prefaced it with the words, The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. The great reversal. Now just forgive me while I read from my journal, so I get the reading exact, and then I'll bring my eyes back up. This won't take long. I have it in German as well. That's when you'll find yourselves out in the cold strangers to grace you'll watch abraham isaac jacob and all the prophets march into god's kingdom you'll watch outsiders stream in from the east the west the north and the south and sit down at the table in god's kingdom and all the time you'll be outside looking in and wondering what happened. This is the great reversal. The last in line put at the head of the line, and the so-called first ending up last. Let me just try the first line or two in German. As I say, it's not very good, but I'll try as far as I can get, okay? And um, bearing in mind, I'm trying to read my own handwriting, which is not always easy even for me. But it begins the uh, first line of, of this passage in German. Dann finden sie sich de kalt wieder frimmend. De gra de uh, uh, vide frimmend de ganade si verden si heen vi Abraham, Isaac, ak Jacob, un alle profiten in Gott's reich ein marschieren. I quite like that. In Gott's reich ein marschieren. <laughs> now I've got to stop that. The Germans are nice guys. They're our allies now, okay? Don't forget, they're our allies. But March! Yep, the Salvation Army are ones for marching, aren't they? Um, I've told you this before, and uh, I've said it many, many times, and there will be things that I will disagree with certain mainstream Christian denominations on. I will disagree with them and the Salvation Army know that certainly in areas like uh, LBTQI relationships and same-sex marriage, they know that I, as a Christian, disagree with them. But anyway, let's not bother with all of that. I wanted to go on about this great reversal thing. Yeah. <laughs> the way I see it, right, is maybe eventually we may manage through ministry and hard work and working for social justice and working to make the world a better place. Maybe we will see that great reversal. When the people at the back, who've always been at the back, 
who've always been trodden on, who've always been exploited, who've always been kicked from pillar to post. Maybe if we work hard as human beings, we'll see that situation reversed. Maybe we will. That's why I'm a socialist. Yeah, that's why I'm a socialist. And, yep, I am a Christian. I think you probably all get, already guessed that. Yep. So I wrote at the beginning of this, this will be a great reversal. It's most likely not going to happen physically in this world as we can, well, we can work towards it by upholding the weak, providing for the downtrodden, facing down evil and lies in all that we do and the lies in their numerous forms and believing that this world is for everybody not just for the richest the most powerful and those with the means to control human or human life on this planet i went on to write jesus himself says the hungry will be fed and the rich he'll send away empty jesus gathered with those whom in this world we would see as the last, the least able, the sickest, the poorest, the outsiders, and the ordinary people. Jesus spent little time with the rulers of the day and the kings and the religious teachers as well as the priests. He called them hypocrites, and as I've said before, blind guides. Once and forever the tables will be turned, still reading my own notes. And those who thought they had it all, believed they were entitled to it all, who treated the last or the least of these as disposable assets, they will be the ones looking in, outside, in the cold. When, I, when it says in the Bible, when Isaac, Jacob and all the prophets march into God's kingdom, I put the bigots, the racists, the homophobes, the religious right, the faux patriots will have a shock as they watch and all the people of the earth from all the points of the compass stream in to sit in peace with each other in the eternal kingdom of God. The unforgiving, the hard-hearted, those who claim their rightful place will be left outside in the cold to await their face, fate. rather. I did add, and it's an important thing to add, otherwise I sound all preachy, we should watch ourselves in case we grow cold and hard too. We should watch ourselves when we feel drawn to judge because God reminds us that the measure of mercy we mete out to others, the same will be meted out to us. We should guard our hearts lest we become brutal and unwelcoming, selfish, greedy and unwilling to serve God and our neighbour who needs our help. We should watch ourselves lest we think by works, behaviour, deeds, money, reputation, we can buy our way into that final banquet. We should understand that we're served, we are saved by the blood of Jesus and by his grace, and mercy shown to us who are still sinners. We should check our lives, rein in our ego, and seek to walk humbly with our God. Okay, that's political. Yep, it's it's religious, it's from the Bible, and it's preaching a message that is, in fact, deeply political. Not with a big P, not with a big P as in Labour, conservative, liberal, communist, socialist, not political with a big P, but it's, pe it's preaching a message of love and concern and care for the weak, upholding the weak, and that idea that the last will be first, yeah? All those people who, you know, are, are choosing to um, having to choose between heating and eating. All those people still waiting on appointments at hospitals for scans and things, as I still am. Some who may even get sicker in the meantime. 
and may even die. Yeah, I know the NHS are doing their best. I absolutely know that. I have great faith and great trust in the NHS. I think they are absolutely superb. They have my full support. Yeah, but look what Johnson and the Tories have done to them. So that's my message, I guess. One day, I believe, maybe not necessarily even physically, but there will be a great reversal. And we should watch ourselves. I think I would probably say I choose to live in peace and walk humbly with my God. Maybe I'm not always very good at doing it. I'm still a sinner. Oh, believe me, I'm a sinner. Unlike the song said, uh, um, I've never been a sinner, I've never I've never sinned. We got a friend in Jesus. My first wife used to love playing that in the morning on her, when one of my sons actually <laughs> downloaded the track for a very early mobile phone. Uh, we used to sing it at the Salvation Army sometimes with a, a wry smile on our faces for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and that includes me and I still do it too and I'm not airy fairy and I'm not saintly and I'm not holy Joe and I'm not a hellfire preacher I'm just a sinner saved by grace and I want to walk humbly with my God and to help and protect others. Take foot care, folks. This one's about another 12 minutes. Of, you know, anything you want to ask or whatever, just post below. Thanks. Bye.